Welcome to the Project Track onboarding video series. This time we will show you how to create your first project field. The creation of project fields is essential when getting started with Project Track, aiming to keep control over your projects in Jira. Let's see why and how to do this. Once Project Track is installed, in the main menu of Jira, access the Project Track menu. Within the menu, it's possible to access the different app views and configuration options. Let's click on the configuration of Fields. If you are using a new Jira instance, you may see some predefined project fields already. Another case is when it's a Jira instance already in use. You'll probably see different project fields created with your current project information. In this section, you can see the name of the project fields, its security permissions, if it's mapped in Jira, their description, their type, and if it's embedded within a layout, which we will further explain. You can also take actions over each of these fields, such as edit them, copy them, or delete them. In the upper right area, you'll see the option to create a project field. Let's click there. This click will roll out a list of different types of project fields you can create with Project Track. There are 12 of them in total. First, we can select the typical HTML fields, such as a list field, date field, and text field. There are project fields related to Jira, such as user field, project field, or group field. Also, the status field and priority field will help you track projects in Jira. The cumulative field and script field are there to add advanced information. Let's begin. Let's create a status project field, naming it Product Status, then adding names to the values such as To Do, In Development, and In Production. If we click on the upper right side of this dialog, we will find the options to map it into a Jira custom field, which means this field will be visible within the issues corresponding to the project. And then we have the option to restrict visibility, which opens a new option for us to choose which role won't be able to see the project field we are creating. In this case, we won't select any of these options. Finally, let's create the field. We can now go to the search bar and type the name we previously gave to the field. And there it is, still waiting to be associated with a layout. Remember to hit the subscribe button and follow us on our social media channels.